Hey guys, this is Avalo here, and I'm bringing you this video because I feel like a lot of people aren't analyzing the impact of the recent patch that Blizzard has released. They've actually released a patch to nerf this, to nerf the Infester, to nerf uh, Zergcraft 2 as the entire past year. This is what has ended up invading our uh, streams and the spectator value has just gone down massively for the game. In terms of game, the gameplay has basically devolved into the Infester is a cure-all for everything for the Zerg. Like, there's no situation where you, where building an Infester is bad, basically. Whereas, you know, if you sometimes you build Vikings, they're bad. Sometimes you build Colossus, it's not a good idea, etc. Um, so they, so we're gonna go over what they've changed there exactly here, and let me go ahead and and actually open the thread. And so you can see, reading right here, what they've changed is. The Raven Seeker Missile upgrade is removed, so you don't have to research Hunter Seeker Missile. And I'm going to, you know, in detail describe why this is actually not a buff. Uh, a lot of people in the forums are mistaking this as a buff. This does not change anything late game, or with the unit itself. Uh, nothing's actually changed um, in terms of what was wrong with the Raven. And what was wrong is the Raven's accessibility, making the Raven be able to pay itself off. It's not a guarantee that you make one and it actually justifies its cost investment. And here's the change for Zerg. Infested Terran Egg's health down from 100 to 70 and Fungal Growth range down from 9 to 8. So, you can see that they're being really, really, really cautious with these changes. But I don't think this is enough because, as I'm about to show you, the Raven Seeker Missile change doesn't do anything. And this change, and this change for the Zerg, doesn't do that much as well, as much as you would think. So what we're going to show here first, are two tanks sieged up. So I'm going to try and fungal these tanks, so you can... So I'm going to send in a couple infestors to fungal the tanks. Now you'll notice the infestors have to get a tiny bit closer to fungal those. Just a tiny bit. So that's the result of that minus one range. And let's get a Viking here as well. I'm gonna fungal the Viking. So let's just check out the range. So this is how close you would have to get to fungal the Viking. So it's a, it's a tiny bit closer. It's like from here to like right there. Before you could have an infester like right here to fungal. Now it has to be right here. So it's like a change of like b about this much I would say so it'll affect that a little bit but once again here's why I, I think these changes I, I'm hoping these are just baby step changes and they're actually gonna nerf the unit because uh, once again I'm throwing out infested turns notice the eggs have 70 life but when they pop they have the same amount of life as they did pre-patch so they're the same exact thing so Blizzard didn't actually nerf the inf <laughs> nerf the Infester. They nerfed the range of Fungal. Fungal is exactly the same amount of damage. It's the exact same duration. It's everything is the same with Fungal. And for the Infested Terran, once the egg pops, assuming they've taken no damage, the Infested Terran is exactly the same as it was pre-patch two. It's the same in DPS. Uh, it's the same in health afterwards. Everything. So what this what does this mean? W what does the change actually do? Well, what it changes is when the eggs are popped onto an army. Now let's say an, the eggs are thrown down on top of this army. When the colossus attack the eggs, they um, they'll be able to kill the eggs much more quickly. But now here's why I think this is not a, really a change at all, and you may. I, I'm not sure if you're uh, if you're really if you have a really keen eye, you may have seen it during that battle. Why why nothing actually changed? Let's so let's just watch this again really quickly. So now once again, you'll notice Infested Terran is still pretty good. <laughs> now now what I'm gonna say here. Uh, you'll notice during the battle when the first eggs pop out 
like let's say those eggs and then the rest of them are spammed, the Colossus or whatever units, they attack and auto-acquire the eggs that have already hatched. And those, what, what that means is it's the same as uh, the previous patch that we were on. They're, they're attacking the infested Terrans. The eggs aren't even really being attacked. Uh, so it's sort of, I guess it'll make a difference in bigger battles perhaps. But it only makes a difference if you're already attacking the eggs. Like let's say you get there after the eggs are down. Let's say you go, go, go right now. No difference. It's the same, exactly the same as before the patch because the these have the same amount of health. So you're, you're still in the same situation and you'll have the brood lords over top, etc. I'm just doing this vacuum situation to, to demonstrate that if the eggs hatch with full HP and they haven't been hit or stormed or siege tanked or whatever, then not, you know, nothing changed in that unit interaction. So that's, you know, that's the infester overall the changes. It has less range, so sometimes, it'll, sometimes the infester when you're going to, to fungal, like if I want to fungal these, they have to get a tiny bit closer to, to fungal. So you may lose one, one or two more infestors than you previously did. But you have to remember when you make like 40 of these things, it's not such a big deal if you kill their entire army. So, you know, it's not... These nerfs are almost, you know, too much of a baby step. I, I believe what the community and what people were hoping was that they would nerf fungal growth. The, the root aspect of it, like, that prevents micro. Like, look at this. That was actually pretty funny, I missed. But, you know, I can't micro out of that. Uh, that's the point. So let me uh, do this again real quick. So let me get one that has fungal. So I'm, I'm running my viking and then you fungal the viking and now I can't micro it. So fungal is the same. It's exactly the same. Nothing, nothing changed with it. So I, I think, <laughs> you know, after a week or two of these changes, people are going to realize, hey, wait a minute. Infestors are still fucking broken. <laughs> that's what I think will happen. So, you know, that's the Zerg changes. We'll have to see, uh, you know, of course. We'll have to see, but, but, you know, I'm just trying to analyze the changes here. And I don't think it changes much. So now we're gonna, now I'm gonna demonstrate the Raven changes. So let me put two Ravens here for a uh, turn. Whoops. All right. So these actually have two. These have full energy, and I'm gonna save those for later because I wanna, I wanna, you know, say what would be the best change for Ravens. Now, what what Blizzard did, and let me uh, move these upgrades so you can see uh, that they're not there. All right. So what what Blizzard did here was. They removed the Hunter Seeker missile upgrade. So what does this do? How does this change affect Terran late game? It doesn't. I'm just gonna flat out say it. It does not affect Terran late game. You'll notice. Yeah, I don't have to research the missile. So let's say I have Corbin Reactor. I just researched that. Research. Now let's say it's late game and you're being attacked. The Zerg's on your half the map and you need a Raven. You need Hunter Seeker missiles. You need a point defense drone to help against the Corruptors. You build two Ravens. Well, I'll sh this is all, nothing, nothing changed. There's actually nothing different. Like, yeah, I didn't have to research Hunter Seeker Missile, but in the, in the, you know, what a lot of people don't realize is in the later stages of the game, you're going to have the money for this. It doesn't matter. So this, this change that Blizzard did, this quote-unquote buff, it's not a buff to the Raven. It's not a buff to anything, Terran. They actually, they just sort of slipped this past everybody because, you know, everybody in their, uh, the patch fever, you know, patch fever or whatever, where everybody's like, oh my god, they patched the game, awesome, this is gonna be so awesome, but you have to look at the changes and analyze them, it didn't change anything, the Raven is still the same unit that it was before, the Seeker Missile still takes the same amount of energy, you build two Ravens, yeah, I don't have to research it, but they're not useful, these Ravens, they're not useful, I can just... Boom, that's all they can do when they come out uh, from, you know, from the, what's it called, from the starports. So it's the same deal. Nothing changes for Terran late game. Same exact thing. And a lot of people are going to figure this out pretty quickly when they realize, hey, wait a minute, I built Ravens and 
I can't do anything with them. They don't pay, you know. And that's the that's the critique that every Terran player, including myself, you know, it, I I don't know if Blizzard is not getting it on this, or they they aren't. You know, I mean that's that's the only thing they just must not be getting or understanding the problem isn't the cost with the upgrades or anything else it's the accessibility of the unit if you make a raven you need it to be able to pay off because Zerg can build 12 corruptors at once and then morph 12 brood lords at once or they can make 10 infestors at once and this stuff is immediately useful fungal 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 infested turn infested turn immediately useful brood lords immediately useful Corruptors can shoot down air units. Useful. Two ravens that pop out with 75 energy. This is it. it it's not useful. It, that you know that's that's what needs to be changed. If they didn't buff the raven, and that's why I'm I'm making a big point of this right here, is they need to actually buff Terran late game. Uh, they need to suck it up and to make the game better. And so how can they? So so now what I'm how can they do that without overpowering the Raven, without making Secret Missile, without tweaking all these numbers, without changing the energy on Secret Missile, changing the energy, you know, without do what, what can they do as a change that would make the Raven be able to pay itself off as an investment more often, while not overpowering it, while not making it, ha so you have five bajillion Seekers so what can they do? And what I would say is, increase I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. All they have to do is increase the Raven starting energy to 100 when you research the Corvid Reactor. So let's say you research Corvid Reactor, and then a Raven pops with 100 energy. And so let's check out the difference here. You'll see these Ravens here. I'm going to I'm going to purposely throw out a PDD just so they have 100 energy. Right now they both have 200. So I just let's say that I made these two Ravens. Whoops. I did that wrong guys, but let's say that I made this raven. It has a hundred energy. I can throw down two auto turrets. I can throw down a point defense drone. But the biggest change, which you'll see in a moment here, do I have another raven? Let me get a let me get a full energy raven. Uh, so you guys can check out what how how huge of a difference this is. You'll notice these ravens, once again, two hundred energy. Let's say that they popped out with a hundred energy. They both have 100 energy. I can throw down point defense drones. These are useful now. And and look at this. I'm waiting for a seeker missile. Now it only takes 25 energy, much like a high templar to wait for Psystorm. So so suddenly when this army is on your doorstep or it's been recreated from the Zerg, there's a little bit more leeway for Terran to get that 100 seeker missile. You'll notice. Look look at how qu look at how much quick. L you don't have it right away, so it's not imbalanced. You don't get you don't get a seeker right away as it pops out. But now, right now, I have a secret missile, and we're good to go. Now the Raven can maybe make itself pay, pay itself off. You would you would hope. So it, it, that's you know that would that would be a change that wouldn't they don't have to change anything here. Nothing changes there. It's literally just to make the Raven more accessible as a unit. It pops out with the energy, you know, with the 200 energy, and then it's like, oh, you can use it because this is not good. You know how it currently is? Yeah, you don't research the missile, but look at this. Let's just sit here and wait. We're just going to wait. <sighs> we're waiting. Oh, let me uh, research Corvid Reactor, my bad. Now, we're not going to wait that long. <laughs> so look at this. They start with 75 energy. We have to wait 50 energy for a secret missile to make this unit. We don't even have a point defense drone. This unit cannot do anything right now. It's It's actually just useless. If the opponent is attacking you, if they're coming at you, boom, 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 oh no, oh, I'm coming at you, like, fungal, 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 etc. Like, I'm like, please don't attack me, leave me alone, Blizzard said they buffed me, they buffed the Raven, leave me alone, God damn it! <laughs> please leave me alone, I'm, I don't have a secret missile yet, leave me alone, go away, leave me, no! <laughs> so you get the pictures. Still, we still don't have a seeker missile. We just got a point defense drone, so it's a, it's a huge deal. Huge, huge deal. And one, once again, just to just to show you guys the difference, just to show you the difference on on what my change actually does. 
So we make two ravens. Now they both popped out with 100 energy. And he's coming at me, bro. He's coming at me. He's coming at me. I have some Vikings. He's coming at me, bro. I have point defense drones. I can throw, throw out a PDD. I can stall for time. I can do other stuff, you know? I, I have to only stall for a little bit more time for a secret missile. So these may, you know, I may be able to get the secret missile instead of like, oh, well, I'll never be able to get a secret missile. He's just going to attack me. You'll notice, boom, look, I almost have one right now. Almost have it. Almost have it. There, I got it. Go, go, go. So the change that I propose, it actually makes the Raven useful. It makes it accessible. You know, the Raven is a good unit. It just needs to be more accessible. That's that's the key thing Blizzard needs to, to do with the unit. So, all I'm saying, yo, implement my change and you'll actually have a balanced Raven late game that you can make and give us Terran a little bit more leeway in terms of, of getting that energy for the Seeker Missile, for having a Raven that, oh, I can use a point defense run right away. I can, oh, I, maybe I can throw out, instead of having one auto turret, I can throw out two useless auto turrets. Maybe, maybe, maybe that'll save me. So, you know, if, if you start them with 100 energy, they can be useful. So, you know, that's the end of this video. It's good that Blizzard's actually uh, balancing the game now and paying attention because I don't know how much more we can take of this as spectators of the game and players. I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. So I hope they continue to, to really try and balance things. I hope so. You can do it! Band together, Terrans and Protosses! If we whine hard enough, they'll actually balance the game, we can do it! And the Zerg's like, no, goddammit, we won't let you get away with that. Fuck you! <laughs> I got investors, bro! No. So yeah, let's hope that they fix the game. So I'll leave you that with that, guys. Uh, Raven Corvid Reactor increases Raven starting energy to 100, and then suddenly you have a good Raven, a Raven that can can be more accessible. And that's that's and the key thing here is that is not overpowered. The Raven becomes more accessible, but nothing changes. Seeker missile damage remains the same. Point defense drone length. And, you know, duration and health remain the same. Auto turret, exactly the same as it is now. Everything is exact. You don't change Vikings. You don't change anything else. It's just that the Raven, you can actually use it, and it doesn't suck balls. Thank you for listening, and, yeah, see you guys next time. See you later.